Good morning, everyone. Lloyd Poncho here, back with another episode of my daily vlog. Today is Tuesday, January 15th. I'm weighing in at 182 pounds, and it sucks today. Oh my god. So remember in yesterday's video, I said that my day was looking hellish and grim? I was only referring to the amount of homework that I had not done yet. Uh, I was unaware of the other ills that would befall me yesterday. Oh, not the, the, not the least of which being that I would totally throw out my back. So yesterday evening I was trying to lift, I guess about 120 pounds, just right in front of me, and, whew, it, I fucking hurt myself bad. <laughs> I basically just, I don't know if I threw something out or if I just pulled a muscle really bad, but yesterday I, uh, I basically couldn't breathe in very much without it hurting all across the side of my chest and into my back. And so I just sort of took some Tylenol, put a Tiger Balm patch on it, and waited it out and tried not to use it. Went to sleep. Uh, I slept a little bit. I got, I got, I kept waking up because my chest was hurting, and my back was hurting. And I finally ooh, hit up this morning, and my chest feels a lot better, but my back feels a lot worse. Ooh, so I think I definitely pulled some kind of big muscle on the back near my shoulder blade because I can't, I can hardly even stand up and breathe properly. So, thankfully, I only have two classes today and I don't have to go far to get to them. So it looks like I'm just going to be going to class and then spending the whole rest of the day before and after class sitting right here. <laughs> Which normally would be a wonderful day off, but oh my god. Ooh, I mean, I'm in quite a bit of pain right now, so hopefully things are going better for you guys. Did any of you remember your dream this morning? I woke up and was I was concerned with uh, not only the fact that my back really hurt because I my alarm went off. I have a new I got the new cell phone working. The Kyocera Rise is now programmed and everything, so I, I put a new alarm clock app on it because the one that came with it was crud and. Uh, I didn't, wasn't used to the alarm, the way it sounded, and it was a lot louder than I thought it was going to be. So when I woke up this morning, it startled me pretty bad. <laughs> Even though it was across the room, it was really loud. Uh, so I went, like, ugh, and sat up really fast, and then immediately my back just goes, no, you don't, and like, whoa, and pulled me back down to the bed. I was like, oh, my God. Oh. <laughs> so uh, I was a little bit concerned with those things going on this morning, and I didn't think about my dream until I was in the shower, and by then... All I could remember was that I had a dream and that a professor or a teacher or someone was talking to me and I was in a classroom and that was about that's about all I can remember now. And all eyes were on me. I forget whether I was right or looking stupid or what, but that's all I can remember. So hopefully you guys, uh, ooh, who can remember your dreams? Uh, it really helps to have a pad of paper next to your bed when you first wake up in the morning. So that, that's the first thing you think about is, what was I dreaming about? Because a lot of people think oh, that they don't really dream, but almost every night you're probably having a dream right before you wake up, especially if you wake up through an alarm clock, because it's much more likely to wake you right in the middle of a REM cycle while you're going to be dreaming. Whereas if you wake up, if you allow your natural circadian rhythm to just wake you up when your body thinks it's time to wake up, you'll probably be in a lighter stage of sleep at that point, so you'll be less likely to have been dreaming. And uh, I think most, it goes at about 90 minute cycles, so about half of the time or more, you're going to be woken up during a dream. Ooh, and the weird thing about dreams is, I don't know if you know this, but a dream that feels like it lasts about five minutes in the dream actually lasts, or was it the other way around? Now, no, okay, now I'm getting confused by Inception. I'm not sure. All I know is that the amount of time that passes in a dream is significantly dilated from the amount of time that passes, actually passes while you're sleeping there. And now, I know in Inception, in the movie Inception, it's, you get a lot more time in the dream. And I guess, I guess that's about right. I think that makes sense. I was going to say the other way around, but now the more I think about it, the more it sounds right. Yeah, so I'm just going to be put up all day. I don't really have anything awesome to show you guys today, except that this is the other angle that we're going to have to use. So I've got some more 
shots and things that can be going on. People behind a couch over here. And uh, maybe under the bed. I don't know. We'll see. This camera angle I also like because you can see back here I've got uh, the persistence of memory, uh, which is on the left side, uh, the way you're looking at it. And the me uh, elephants reflecting swans is on the right. They're both also Salvador Dali paintings to go with the metamorphosis of Narcissus, which is now behind the camera. Ooh. Yeah, I heard to lift my arms up. So I think I'm going to uh, end this episode here. Uh, what was our goal for this week? Dreams? I was right. I'm trying to remember our dreams. So this, this morning, I, I guess I've not succeeded because I remember I had one, but I can't remember enough about it. So I was too distracted this morning. So tomorrow I'm going to put a pad of paper right next to my alarm. So as soon as I turn it off, I'll see it and I'll think about whether or not I was dreaming. And hopefully we'll have something to talk about. I have another dream story that I want to tell, but I don't want to do it today because I probably will remember all of it if I haven't thought about it yet. So maybe I'll tell that story tomorrow or the next day. It's a pretty good <laughs> dream story. It's not even my dream, but it's really funny. So I think that's all for this time. Thanks for watching, guys. See you tomorrow morning.